morning, Baron Collier Cougars. Today is January 8th. Next week, Baron Collier will be administrating midterm and final exams across our campus. All students, including virtual students enrolled in the following courses, are required to complete the exam on campus during administration. English 1, regular and honors. English 2, regular and honors. Algebra 1, regular and honors. Algebra 1A, geometry, regular and honors. Biology, regular and honors. And US history, regular and honors. If you are enrolled in one or more of the listed courses, you are required to report on campus to complete these exams. All our exams will be administrated by our teachers. All virtual students will be required to complete their exams in the scheduled time of administration. There is no asynchronous option for exam completion. The exam schedule can be found on the BC website. Students not completing the exam will be receiving an M grade for these exams. The grades calculate to an F grade worth zero. This could have a major impact on your final grade for the semester. Make sure to communicate with your teachers on exam procedures and times. The National High School Ethics Bowl will be holding its first meeting today, January 8th, after school in Ms. Joji's room. The next meeting for physics clubs is Thursday, January 24th in room 304 in the Blue Hallway. Hot Commodity, the BC Literary Magazine, will be taking its submissions until the end of the quarter two. So make sure to submit your artwork, poetry, writing, photography, or more to this email by January 18th to get your work published in this issue. Seniors, go to the following class of 2021 Instagram at Baron Collier Cougars 2021. Also, the Project Graduation T-shirt contest is accepting submissions until the end of January. Check the seniors page of the school website for details. We hope many of you will participate. If you have any questions, please contact our parent representative, Ms. Poff, at her number. Good luck! Students, if you have borrowed a laptop or charger from the Media Center, please return it as soon as possible. Fines will be assessed this week. The BC Varsity Girls Soccer Team played hard against Mariner last night with a score of 2-2. Two two. Eden Abuzir and Tatiana Galbraith scored a goal each with two assists by Lola Shea. Boys tennis tryouts will take place right after school from January 20th to January 22nd. Students must have athletic clearance paperwork and a physical completed in order to try out. Please email Coach Duffy at his email if you have any questions. The Baron Beanery is open daily from 6.45 to 7.05 a.m. There are two locations conveniently located in the front lobby and in the back of the cafeteria. Please stop by and get a hot coffee, hot chocolate, or tea. That's a wrap for the BC TV News. For the blue and gray, go Cougars! Good afternoon, Baron Collier High School Cougars. This is Miss Cora Luzo, the R to Z School Counselor, and I'm here today to talk about scholarships. Scholarships um, consist of money that is given that is not um, a loan. You do not need to pay it back. We have many scholarships available through our county. We also have scholarships, um, national scholarships. There are a few I'd like to discuss today. One is um, the Community Foundations of Collier County. They have um, created a common app, not to be confused with common app for college applications, where you complete one application. It is a tad bit lengthy, but worth it. Um, when you complete this application, you are actually applying for over 80 scholarships. What happens once you complete the application? Um, people sit together and they match you with the scholarships that you qualify for. There are need-based scholarships, there are merit-based scholarships, there are scholarships for a certain career that you're looking into. You're going to go to college for nursing or you're going to go um, for engineering. There are specific scholarships um, in those areas. So it's important to at least fill out the application. If you go onto your counselor's Canvas page under announcements, you will see an announcement that says scholarship, scholarship, scholarship. In that announcement, there is a direct link to the community foundations where it will take you directly to the um, beginning of the application. Um, you're going to click create application and then you follow the, the steps that are required. There's also a tutorial video there if you need, um, well not video, it's PDF. Um, but there's a tutorial to help you step by step if you get lost along the way. Um, we also just opened up today or yesterday, January 6th, the um, 
20,000 Richard M. Schultz College Scholarship. This is um, a huge one. It is $5,000 a year for four years. Um, you can go to the www.schultzfamilyfoundation.org and complete the application. Um, all of our scholarships that become open and available will be posted on the Baron Collier High School webpage under um, students or guidance in two different spots under scholarships and they will be listed there. Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please come see your counselor. Um, I know that every year there are a lot of scholarships that do not get um, given out to our students here at Barron because they just don't apply. Um, let's apply this year. Let's see how much money our students can um, earn, be given for all of their amazing accomplishments. We know that you work very hard here. You're involved in sports, you're involved in clubs, you're involved in um, highly academic courses and you work hard to get the grades and the high GPAs. Um, let it pay off for you. This is money that you can earn that you do not have to pay back and it can assist in the tuition costs of college, it can assist in housing, it can assist in the cost of books. Um, it could assist, I've had students that bought a laptop based off their scholarship money um, to help them through their college years. So there's multiple um, opportunities. I just barely scratched a few. Um, again, if you have any questions, please reach out to your school counselors, come schedule an appointment, email us, we'll schedule an appointment. Um, pay very close attention to deadlines because um, we know for the Common App Scholarship through Community Foundations, the deadline is February 1st. Um, the Richard Schultz is March 1st. Um, they start coming up pretty quick here. So uh, one more thing I wanted you to think about, part of scholarships, a lot of times um, there is an essay to write. Also, um, many of them want a letter of recommendation. So I do want you to start thinking about that. If you need, if you want a teacher or a coach, somebody in the community, um, you know, start asking those people, give them some information on you so that it's not, um, so it's easier for them to write a nice letter of recommendation for you. Okay, I hope to hear um, multiple students earning multiple amounts of money. I look forward to it. Have a wonderful year.